Hello, hello, hello. Test, test, test. Okay, so just a quick tip. So let's say I have this model of a phone here. That uh, uh, it's a Samsung phone. Uh, it's my phone actually. But uh, let's say I only wanted to unwrap only part of a texture, uh, a part of a model. Okay. So I want. I want. So what? Right. Right now I have a few, a few different objects. So I have this uh, screen, uh, kind of front panel object. And then I have this, the the uh, the edges, the model for the edges, uh, and then have the back casing, and then I have the screen. Okay, so what I only want to do is, um, and these are all separate objects. These are all separated and separate objects. Uh, what I want is I want the this piece, the the piece underneath this object, uh, to I want to only map, only unwrap this this piece and I only want to unwrap this area so let's go to face selection I only want this area and because it's mirrored I only want this area to be uh, unwrapped onto this bit of the image so I can just right now I can just press and I'm on I'm in texture mode I can just go at go ahead press that and say unwrap okay and that happens and of course, not, uh, nothing actually shows up because you need to give it a texture, image texture, and then put in the Samsung image, and then hook it up. And you can see that the image is now mapped, but oh, it, and it's lagging. Um, but even if I put it in the right corner, you can see that because of the mirror modifier. Uh, the screen is mirrored as well so you can't really um, unless this is what you want uh, you can't really unwrap with uh, a mirror modifier so I'm gonna go ahead and undo all that actually I don't really need to undo all that but uh, let me do, just do that so we can start fresh and then we're gonna go to that object this object and then apply the mirror modifier because my modeling is basically done, right? So I'm going to apply the mirror modifier. And notice that I, had, I have um, edges. I have these edges that define uh, where the screen is going to be. Okay, so I'm, I can just use face select and then select all these. Okay. And then I can press unwrap and rotate. And let's go to, and let's and let's give it a texture back. Uh, let's connect it to the diffuse and then open Samsung. And you can see I'm manipulating it. Uh, I can grab and then scale it down so it fits the screen, right? And it's reversed, of course. Um, yeah, and it's flipped. Uh, we can do that by flipping it around. We need to scale on the x-axis, scale horizontally, and then uh, flip it over. So that's kind of, and uh, of course there's these edges here, which I can fix. But that's generally how it works. Uh, and if you take a look at the panel, it's, oops, that's the back. The panel, okay, only this area is being mapped. The rest of it has not been mapped. So we, if since this model doesn't actually require me to map it, uh, I don't. I don't necessarily have to. I can only unwrap whichever part I want. Uh, but there is a faster way to unwrap this, and that is um, if we go to, if I get out of perspective mode by pressing five numpad five, and then I go to the top by pressing numpad seven. My lighting just fell. Okay, uh, but uh, what I can do is if I go to seven, and then. What I can do is, I can select those faces. Okay, whoops, wrong object. Okay, okay here we go. I have pre I can select those, and I can press U, and then I can select project from view, and that projects uh, the screen, the the selected vertices, uh, the selected faces to project in the way I see it now as the viewport is using. So, if I go to here and then I press U and I project from view, it's gonna project in the same angle. 
Okay, and it's gonna show that texture. Okay, and uh, yeah, you can get these really uh, warped perspective and I go to, I believe this works with perspective 2C, uh, projects uh, completely from view. Uh, right now I can just go to 7, which is the top, and I want that to be my view, and I get out of perspective mode, and then view, projection view, and then I'll get it exactly the way uh, it's proportional, I can get it exactly the way I want it to be. So I can just scale, you know, let's do a little bit of resizing, and it should fit perfectly. So yeah, so yeah, there you go.